Hello and welcome back to Wasmy Brain, Stanley Purple. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Blah blah blah. All again. I'm gonna check. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. Oh, I got crouch. Need. Um. Me. So, I think I'm gonna this time go. I actually go to the boss office. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. To see what's what's in there. Yes, I there's not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his <laughs> boss's <laughs> office, hoping he might find an answer there. To do, Sinner cries, core value expenditures, Sith global market parrot, something. Monitor's free to play. Monitor's free to play. Okay then. I've been there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. What a lovely office. Huh? I wanted to execute the bathroom. Let me in. Let me in, I tell you. Fine. Be like that. Huh? How does it open a little? So... Hmm. I can't use anything here. Okay. Stepping into his manager's office, Cost. Sandy was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked? Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him, and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, Oops. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly two, have known this. 2849. Stanley simply began entering random codes into the keypad, knowing full well Damn, the I have statistical bad likelihood that this would ever result in a correct combination. If he knew that the combo was 2845, it would oh, be two, another eight, story four, entirely. Five. But no, no, Fuck. this is what he was going to do instead. Well, I'm gonna quickly check if I can. Well, there are... Nah. Stanley just piano. sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never <laughs> possibly know that the combination was 2845. Dude, hey, stop telling that I can know that it's 2845. I mean, seriously, I know it already that I don't two know it. 2845. 8587. Yeah. I want to see what happens if I don't put it. If For anything. But it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the huh? door just opened all by itself. <coughs> and Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de <laughs> <laughs> No need to be an ass about it, eh, bro? <gasps> it's, it's a triple. They haven't. They haven't finished the section of the map yet. Can I jump down there? No. Let's go to the dark corner. Can I? Oh, need. Where the fuck? So, I can move anywhere. Okay. So I can go behind there, but nothing is there. No, do it lead any better. So let's stay the elevator down. Welcome to Silent Hill. Into the building, 
Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring yeah. of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Really? That's good to know. Even though I couldn't possibly know that. Stanley possibly. walked straight ahead through the large door that read what? Mind Control Facility. Escape? Mind Control Facility. Escape? Mind Control Facility. Escape! No. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Or would he? Maybe you're trying to trick the me. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Nope. At this point, right. Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Okay, it seriously looks like this is... I'm going to die for sure if I jump there. Or it's one of his mind control tricks. Try to make me to follow his directions. Ha <laughs> ha I'm falling. Ouch, dude. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched oh. closer and closer to his demise, uh -oh. he reflected that his life had been of no consequence no, 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 no. whatsoever. Stanley I... can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. Trapped forever in his narrow Let me out. of what this world is. Perhaps Let me out. Alright, I forget I can jump. <laughs> hey, let, so let me out, bro. Hey. Willingly accepted this violent end to his no, I'm not willingly life. accepting this. That I'm fucked. How could you do this to me? I trust you! For me here. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. Whoa. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing Yo. him instantly. Yep. Looks like I'm flat right now. So flat. Like a pancake. The sternly and yet horrible. it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as oh. ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Nothing. Well, when every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? This is amazing. Look at it. And here is where I make the choice. Computers, there is some installation, poker, or whatever this is, and some database. Is this like where they put all the stuff they were going to put in the game? Credits. So, am I dead or am I dead? Now, where can I get out? Huh? Need. Double need. Triple need. What? Alien base. We are in different videos and an ending where Stanley would end up multiple fighting elites and uh, the action game will be consented and would make war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting the bullet that it was far too chucky and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus some people interrupt it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. That would have been actually kinda cool. cool. Ending. The office stuff. 
tick tock goes the clock. One option, two option, three option, four option. Huh. So when I went to... Okay. Whatever. I didn't even want to know that. What is this? What are these? Sending levers to the slurs. Uh, I can't use them. That's not nice. I like using stuff. Stuff is fun. What? Come up here. Hey. Count down this. One of the disc from here. 42. 42. It's me and our life. <laughs> Just oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. That's like, that's like those two voices in my head in real life. Wait, what? Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? I can't see anything. It's no, completely black. Not. Sometimes these things can't <laughs> be seen. A curse can be seen. Listen to me. You can still Fudge. save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now. That will be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time choose ah. I thought this was gonna stop again. Squish. Have a squeeze. What? Oh. Okay. I hate how much learning this game has. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stand could have asked for artist meeting. parts. Not an indication of any... Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. <laughs> that kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. What? What? Double what? Triple what? Can you let me continue? Feeling soothed what? and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. That was weird. So weird. Stanley walks straight ahead through the large and door with the red mind control facility. To the mind control facility. How lovely. So, light bulb. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did what? this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Is did that he have the, the strength to find from out? the trailer? There are also screens saying employee number X and you can see. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Yep. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of well, so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, what? one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Freedom. Wait, is that the place where I went when I decided not to follow? Forty-seven. Is there? Yep. So what now? Oh, right. <laughs> Silly me. I didn't notice that the door opened. 
Elevator, please. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Of course, I'm just sleeping. Under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yes. That's where no. Oh. He refused to believe it. He no, I believe it. Accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't right. it? Was it even possible? Had he right. truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of yeah. the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. So for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. How? Can I go in? No. I can't press any buttons, but there are so many cloud buttons I want to press. God damn you, narrator. I'm going up here and see what I can do up here and... Four? <laughs> number four, number four, number four. Okay, I stop. I'm just going back. Glowy light. Glowy lights. Must press. Oh, God, what is up? How could they do this to me? Oh, one controls idle awaiting input. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Nope. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After Oops. they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control Oops. of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Yes. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley what? suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Oh, shit. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are said to explode. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Complex. How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's oh, your shit. time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left oh. to enjoy it. No um. moments until the bomb goes off. Oh, what there. precious moments each one <laughs> is. More oh, shit. About you, about me, hey. where we're going. What all this means? I barely know where to start. I had five buttons. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned what? off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other what? times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this though, this version of events has been rather amusing. Just freaking us. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back I... the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go, but I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. 
My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds. What you? Time doesn't grow on trees. What you want me to do? Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Of course. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored buttons. Oops. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you say um. that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> You're an asshole. Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made. <laughs> this is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world. It's a tragedy but and I'm going to destroy and so... it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No end of it. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another what? choice. Make it come. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All God a part damn it. of the joke. And I know idea what I have to do here. Laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Fuck. So, that's the fourth time I die in this game. I'm gonna stop this episode here. Thanks for watching this episode of me playing with Stanley Parabella. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more videos made by me and see you in the next video. Bye!